Hey everybody, Steve here. Welcome to the sixth video in my series on the RadioMaster TX-16S. We have come a long way in the last five videos, basically starting at ground zero and working through inputs and mixes and logical switches and special functions, all on our way to our final goal, which is twofold. Number one, having a case study to learn how to use all of this stuff and to be able to benefit from the case study in the first place. In this case study, what we have done is we have configured the radio so that we can go and we can fly and we can tune our PIDs in flight using three switches and having voice cues so that we never have to look down from our quad while we're tuning. Now I have said many times in the past videos, acknowledging the fact that yes, I know about the Betaflight Lewis scripts and I know that using goggles and an OSD is a better solution than this. But for those of us who fly line of sight and for those of us who either don't have goggles or can't afford goggles, this is certainly the next best thing. Bottom line is that we have configured this radio so that we can tune our PIDs in flight with audio cues using only three switches on the radio. And the way we did that was with logical switches and special functions. So take a look at how this is going to work. So this is my SA switch, and this is the switch that I'm using for my roll pitch yaw. And notice that it's coming in on auxiliary four. But notice that it's also having an effect on aux seven. Okay. Pitch proportional. Roll proportional. In addition, my SB switch, which I'm using for my PID controller, is coming in on aux five, but it's also having an effect on aux seven. Roll integral. Roll derivative. All right. Pitch derivative. Your derivative. What we've done is we've set up a dummy channel on channel eleven that will essentially be overridden by all of our logical switches. And our logical switches are based on what position SA and SB are in. So for example, SA up and SB up is my roll proportional. And we have set that to logical switch one. We further defined logical switch one here by saying, all right, when logical switch one is true, we're gonna override channel 11 and we're gonna set it to a value of negative, negative 100. The way that translates is channel 11 is coming through as aux 7 in beta flight. So it doesn't matter whether I move SA or SB, I'm having an effect on aux 7. The bottom line here is that I have nine distinct values coming in on aux 7. I was able to combine SA and SB. So we've got a three position switch and a three position switch for a total of nine positions. And we were able to use logical switches and special functions to get all of them to come in on one channel. It happens to be channel 11, but more importantly in Betaflight, it's coming in on aux 7. So if we go to adjustments, you'll see that aux 7 has nine different ranges set up. So it all depends on where this little cursor is going to be. Let's go all the way back to roll proportional. As you can see, roll proportional is the first one. Next is going to be roll integral. Roll integral. Next is going to be roll derivative. roll derivative. And this will continue all the way down the line for all nine PID adjustments. Furthermore, what we've done is we've created switch SC. And go back to receiver. Switch SC is coming in on aux six. And what SC is going to do is that's going to be our incremental changer so that if, for example, we want to, well, let me just show you. I'm going to go to PID tuning. All right, so say I've got my quad up in the air and I'm flying and I want to make a roll proportional adjustment. So without ever looking down from my quad, I know that I can flip the switch to get me into roll proportional. All right, and now I'm in roll proportional and in my PID tuning, I want to change uh, the roll proportional in an increment of five. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab SC and I'm going to give it five quick clicks. All right. Now you've noticed that nothing's changed, but that's because I have to refresh the beta flight page. And when I refresh the beta flight page, the 50 changes to a 45. Say I want to do pitch proportional. And I want to uh, change it by an increment of six. And I want to go the other way. That 50 will now change 
to a 56. So we have the ability using three switches to change all the PID values right here while we're flying. And although the beta flight PID tuning page required me to hit refresh to see the results, your quad won't. Basically, the, the changes are instantaneous. So you can be up there flying, make a change, note the difference of the way your quad is flying, make more changes if you see fit, go ahead and land, and you can save all those changes simply by taking both sticks down and out. And that's in mode two. In addition, you'll be able to take that one step further, which is what we're going to talk about in the next video, where we incorporate this three switch methodology with the Betaflight Lewis scripts, and you'll be able to have the Betaflight uh, PID number one screen right there on your radio, and you'll actually be able to see the values that you've changed using the three switch method. So in video five, we set everything up in logical switches and special functions to drive all of these decisions to one channel on channel 11. Channel 11 has been set up to have nine different values based on the positions of SA and SB. All right, on my adjustments page, and if you don't see an adjustments page, go up here to enable expert mode, and that will be the difference between whether you can see adjustments page or not. So enable expert mode. So when you get to this screen, we're gonna set up nine different values. So that's why I have these here. Some of the data entry I've done already, uh, just to save time. Now I've identified that my, my channel 11, which I set up is coming in on aux seven. So I've got nine of those. I've also identified that my incremental change switch is going to come in on aux six. So that part I've done ahead of time, just to save a little bit of time. So now what I need to do is I need to set up all nine PID values that I'm going to want to change. Well, let's start with roll P then roll I and etc. And don't forget to save because this page is a real pain if you forget to save. All right, so roll P, I, D, pitch, P, I, D, yaw, P, I, D. All right, so the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to use my switches and I'm going to find roll proportional. And here we go. Roll proportional. All right, so now my range is set within roll proportional. So now I want to do roll integral. So I'm going to move this slider over because this is roll integral. Now roll derivative. Roll derivative. Well, that's this guy right here. All right. I'm going to reset everything. Roll integral. Roll proportional. And now I want to do pitch proportional. Pitch proportional. Well, that's right here. Pitch integral. Pitch integral. It's right here. Pitch derivative. Pitch derivative. That's right here. All right, resetting everything. Pitch integral. Pitch proportional. And yaw. Yaw proportional. Yaw proportional. Like so. Yaw integral. Yaw integral. Yaw derivative. And there it is. Don't forget to save. And that is how I was able to take all of the stuff that we did on channel 11 have it funnel in as aux seven and set everything up so that we can make these adjustments. And just as a quick reminder, let's change uh, roll, integral. roll integral. Currently it's at 50. Let's make it 55. Refresh the screen and roll integral is 55. Save the changes. If we were in the air, we would land and you can save all those changes simply by taking both sticks down and out and that's in mode two now and that is pretty much a wrap on how to tune your pid values while in flight using audio cues never having to look down at your radio so the next video is going to be complete icing on the cake we're going to combine my three switch method with the Betaflight Lewis scripts so that you can essentially do everything that you're doing here. But the Lewis script has all of the PID values right there on the screen. So we'll actually be able to see the values 
you know, here it's a little bit of guesswork here we're at 50 and we want it to go to 55 so we click it five times the, qu the quad is either going to fly better or fly worse we're going to make a change based on that so there's still a little bit of guesswork that is necessary but the betaflight flight lewis script is really going to clear that up for us because we'll be able to make changes just like you've seen here and then we'll be able to go to the beta flight lua pid one screen be able to see those changes be able to save them or continue making changes as we see fit so it's pretty much the best of both worlds i really hope that you found this video series helpful if you did please subscribe to the channel uh, and then if you want notification of future videos as soon as they come out hit that little bell and People are always asking me how they can give back. And the best way that you can give back is share my videos in social media, Reddit, wherever. Um, those really help to bring more viewers to me. And that is actually the single best thing that anybody can do to help my channel out. So I appreciate that. So if that's something that you're interested in doing, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, otherwise, I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video, which is the Betaflight Lua script video. See you there.